so we're a little bit lost. Nation. Today we are in Savannah, Georgia. It is only our second time to come to the state of Georgia and we have made it to what I feel like is the heart of the South. I know I said that in the South Carolina video that was in Charleston, <laughs> but now we are in Georgia. Charleston's little brother, older brother, I don't really know. I can't stop smiling because these park blocks are just amazing. The only other place I've seen park blocks like this is in Portland, but here they're everywhere. There's like a little square in the middle of all these houses over and over and over again. They're literally a block apart from each other. It's truly a green space to be. As you can see, the Spanish moss is amazing. And I just wanna dive in that fountain because it looks so refreshing. This place is very much so like a Disney movie. It's too perfectly like Spanish moss laden and Southern and brick is just beautiful and the cobblestone streets is wonderful and they have horse-drawn carriages and we saw walking tours and they mentioned Forrest Gump sitting on a bench and I was like oh my gosh this place is like really really cool we came into this day not really expecting all that much we didn't have a plan this is kind of like our new thing we don't really have a plan we're just like seeing where it takes us but this place already in five minutes is really awesome. And even the azaleas have Spanish moss on them. Bushes, trees, it doesn't matter. It grows everywhere. Do you love it? I love it. These homes are absolutely beautiful. You can tell they're like a combination of like French and Greek architecture. And of course the Spanish moss is giving everything this like ethereal. I feel like that's my new word. But like seriously, like it feels like we're in a different world. Like over the five continents Zach and I have traversed, we have never seen Spanish moss as abundant as in the south of the United States. It is really, really cool. Just to like be walking through the old trees that are massive, by the way, these park blocks really add like a, a very quaint charm to things, you know? It makes like every little pocket seems like its own little community. And it's just really, really beautiful. So I will say, we are here in mid-October, and this is like the time to come. It is the perfect temperature, there aren't a lot of people here, you feel like you have these streets and the park blocks all to yourself, and it makes it that more magical. So if you're ever coming to Savannah, October is a very nice time to visit. And I'm not even a certified tour guide, but I have found a relic. This is the old way to mark the streets, just a concrete block in the middle of the street. That's crazy. You guys, I feel like we made it to the heartbeat of the city. We were like, should we walk this far to a park that we don't know if anyone's gonna be there at? So many people. So many people. So many locals. This is crazy. I mean, it's coronavirus, so everyone's out. It's a beautiful day. This is just amazing. I don't think this day can get any better. You guys, I knew something Zach didn't know for the first time ever. He didn't know that there was like a major art university here called SCAD, and it's like changed his whole perception of what this place is. Yeah, it's like all the young people come here, they're artists. I love university towns in the first place, so that means that everyone's out slacklining, people in hammocks, yep. live music as you can hear is happening everywhere because people are just like, we're artists, we're gonna play, we're, we're gonna paint, you know? we're just gonna be outside. What? I thought Savannah was just like, Older people on vacation. I didn't know you lived here and you could just be like, artsy. An artist? He didn't know! That's in... Romania, and you're like, that's a bridge of lies. And if you tell a lie, the bridge cracks. And now we're on a bridge. If you are walking over the bridge and you tell a lie, the bridge will begin to creak and crack. And if you tell a big lie, it will collapse. So I better not tell a lie. Look at these Thailand steps. I mean, these are like 12 inches. It's like a foot and a half each time. I haven't seen these in a long time. Woo. 
where are we? So there's a top level, then there's a second level with the main floor, and then we're on like an intermittent level, and then there's a basement, and then the river is like way on the other side of this. I don't even know what I'm looking at. And here's the other side of the triple story thing. There's our bridge of love, and then what is this? We got like whole apartments on the side. This is crazy mixed use area that they made way back in the day. And there's the hole, and this is what's on the other side. Look at that. and we're getting a little hungry, so unexpectedly, we're gonna eat out, which we normally don't do because we're budget travelers, but today we're just happens it. to be 10 days after Leah's birthday. Woo! We're, we're still celebrating. homemade chocolates and we got two dark chocolate raspberry truffles and a dark chocolate bear claw with pecans. Oh my goodness, this looks really too good. Ready? Mm, oh my god. If you like dark chocolate, this would be heaven on earth to you. Chocolate and raspberry is my favorite combination. No wait, scratch that. Chocolate and orange is my favorite combination. Chocolate and raspberry is my second favorite combination. This is so good. Con lovers everywhere, rejoice. Oh my God. Georgia is also a very well-known pecan state. It's like they do peaches, grits, and pecans really well. And I think that holds up. There are so many park blocks and a lot of them have like the same type of statue in the middle of them So we were just walking through one and I was like, oh, this is our park that we like left our car at and Zach was like Yeah, it's like definitely not we're like way over here and I was like what? And we didn't like really mark where we left our car on the map. So We're a little bit lost but Hopefully we can find it Thank you so much for visiting Savannah with us. We had such a great time here. This is truly a vibe. This place is just- It really just, is. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know how to describe it. You really have to come here to see what it's like. It's charming. It's mysterious. The architecture is beautiful. Be beautiful. It really is like its own feeling. So you definitely need to come to Savannah, Georgia. I honestly, I never thought I would actually be here just because it's so like, not close to anywhere that we have been mm -hmm. or thought we were going. Mm -hmm. And I'm really glad we got this unique opportunity to visit Savannah. Three. <laughs> What's it gonna do? It's a squirrel. A southern squirrel. Squirrels are freaking me out. <laughs> okay. 